conversations are the new lead. So I'm gonna show you how to add a live chat to your website and we're starting right now. If you wanna transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Wes McDowell, web strategist at The Deep End. And if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, you're definitely gonna to wanna to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. So today I'm gonna to go over the key benefits of having a live chat feature on your website, as well as a free and really attractive way of getting it up and running in just a few minutes. So first of all, why even have a chatbot? Well, 80 to 90% of the people coming to your site today are really only in research mode. And guess what? They've got questions. And sure, you can try to get all these questions answered in various places around your website, but you know there's always going to be a certain amount of questions that you never anticipate coming. Now it's important to know that of the people that are just in research mode who aren't actually ready to make a decision, almost none of those people are going to be willing to pick up a phone or send off an email. But according to a recent Mindshare study, 63% of people are in fact willing to use a chat feature even when they're not ready to buy yet. And the reason for that is simple. It just feels a lot less intimidating and a lot less of a commitment to talk to you over chat. Now chatbots basically come in two flavors. You've got the automated version, which relies on a lot of pre-programming and a more manual version, which involves you actually interacting with your customers in real time. Now for most small businesses out there, I actually don't recommend going that automated route for a couple reasons. First of all, the completely automated version tends to be a lot more expensive. Second of all, it can get complicated really fast when you're relying on a lot of pre-programmed questions and answers and it gets confusing and you're likely to really just give up on the whole process. But to me, the biggest reason is the automated version uh, really gets rid of the human connection and the human element, which I think is a huge missed opportunity because people really hate talking to bots. You know, think about when you call a customer service line, you always wanna to talk to a person, not the automated response. So it's very hard to duplicate that experience with AI, um, at least where we're at today. So right now I'm gonna show you my favorite tool for a simple, attractive chatbot that you can get up on your site in minutes and will message you right on your phone as soon as you get a new customer on the hook, allowing you to interact with them in real time. Because when you can provide questions to answers they have in real time, when they're actually researching you, you can shorten the sales cycle dramatically and you're much more likely to be considered when it's time for them to actually buy. So let's get right on over to the computer. All right, so before we get started on building one of these things, I guess I'll show you uh, an example of one in action. So this is on the Deep Ends website. And as you can see right down here, there is this little icon of a chat bubble. So when you click on that, if someone ever has a question, it just launches and then it greets them and then it allows them just to type in a, uh, a, a question right here. And I happen to think this one just has a lot of visual appeal and a little bit of personality to it, which I like. Um, I kind of value that in, in something like this. And beyond your customer coming to your site and then instigating this on their own, you can actually set this up to uh, be triggered when someone uh, either arrives on your page after a certain amount of seconds or once they go a certain percentage down the page, it'll pop up um, asking if they have any questions. So you can be proactive on this as well. What we're gonna use to, to build this is actually an online software program called ConvertFox. Um, so basically, it has a lot of features on it, but today we're only gonna be focusing on that live chat feature. Um, and I just wanna go over, I'll bring up the pricing page just so you can see um, there are paid plans, but the good news is there's a free plan and that's included, that includes 500 contacts. So you wouldn't have to pay anything until you've gotten, you know, 500 people contacting you this way. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just sign up for it and then I'm gonna log into my account. Okay, so here I am logged in and at first it's gonna ask you to name the project and put in your URL for your website. So I would just name this uh, with the name of your business and today, since I already have one of these on my site, I'm gonna actually set it up for a client site. So we're gonna be using that name and that URL. Okay, so I've put that in. Uh, next, we're gonna click uh, this button right here to go to the profile. And since I'm setting this up for a client, I'm actually gonna put in her name, which is Mariel right here. And then it lets you upload a profile picture, which is not mandatory, but I really recommend that you do that because if people see that you have a picture there, um, it's really gonna help build that trust factor and really feel like they're talking to you live. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and click to upload it. Okay, so I've uploaded the picture and then click on next to configure. Okay, here's where the fun part begins. So basically now you can kind of choose the look of what this thing looks like when it opens up. There's two things that we're looking at here, which is the icon that people see when they first come to the site, and then the, the chat box that opens up when they click on it. And you've got some options. So there's either gradients, you can choose between these predefined gradients, or if you have a color, if you really wanna get specific and really make it match your brand colors, you can click that. And then you can put in uh, your own uh, color code here, your own hex value, they call it. But this particular site has kind of a purple color scheme going on with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how this one looks. And I think I like that. And I think I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna make sure it's that for the chat box as well as for the chat icon. And that looks pretty good to me. And it also lets you choose um, a customized chat icon. So you don't have to use this one. You can go with this one or this one, or I'm just gonna go with this one. I think it uh, looks pretty nice. And so then what we can do is customize our greeting. So it comes with a standard hello, uh, welcome to character mapping, live chat, let's chat, start a new conversation below. Now this is fine, but what I don't like about it is it seems a little bit like a bot. It seems a little corporate, and I would rather have something that feels a little more familiar and like what you would actually type to a friend. So I'm gonna change it a little bit. So I just changed it to, hey there, welcome. Glad you made it. I'm sure you've got questions. What can I do for you? I just feel like this seems a little friendlier and like Muriel's really here ready to answer this question. Okay, now we've got another choice of the chat prompt. Remember how I said you've got the option of uh, the chat actually just popping up on, on its own when somebody comes to your site. You don't have to do that, but I recommend it in most cases, especially if someone's been on your site for a specified length of time or they've made it to a certain point on the page where you think, hey, maybe I should uh, be a little more proactive and ask if they have any questions. So you can either skip that or I'm gonna show you how to do that though. So let's go ahead and click that. All right, so it comes pre-populated. It says, welcome to char character mapping live chat. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Now this seems pretty friendly to me and I kind of like the way it's worded. I'm just going to remove the live chat part. So it just says, welcome to character mapping. Um, that seems pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so here is where you might get scared because it looks pretty technical, but it really is not. So basically, you know, you probably have a WordPress site. Uh, most people do. So uh, there's either you can post JavaScript code onto your site, or if you have WordPress, you can go this route. And so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to jump over to the WordPress side, um, the back end where you've logged into your WordPress site, and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, so here we are on the back end of this WordPress site, and all you're gonna do is from the dashboard area, once you're logged in, you're gonna go over to Plugins, Add New. And then you're gonna go Search Plugins, and you're gonna type in ConvertFox. And it's right here, it's only one, so you're just gonna click Install Now. And it's already installed, and now you just click Activate. Now we're almost done, all you're gonna do is go down to Settings then, and then find the ConvertFox plugin, just click that. And then here it's asking for your ConvertFox project ID. So in order to find that, you're just gonna go back over to ConvertFox where we left off, and it gave us an ID. We're just gonna take that and plug it right in here, and we're gonna go to Save Changes. Now we'll go back over to ConvertFox and scroll down, and some, this confused me the first time I did it. Uh, just to let you know, this is only an image of what we just saw. You're not meant to input anything here. This is just kind of for visual reference. It, they're trying to show you what you're going to be doing on the WordPress site. So you can uh, not even pay attention to this. And then just click on Finish and Check Now. Okay, so see that popped up, so that means it's working. But I don't think I'm happy with it popping up as soon as someone comes. I think that's a little obnoxious. So what I would rather do is change the settings on this so it only pops up after they've been on the site for a little bit of time and they're able to kind of navigate their way around it on their own for a bit first. So let's go back over to ConvertFox and really dive into that, those settings. So I'm gonna click here uh, where it says click here to move along. That'll take us to the next steps. Now there are a lot of icons and a lot of things over here that will look confusing. Um, we're not talk. We're not going to be focusing on any of these right now. Um, this the setup guide right here is the only thing we're going to focus on. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. So in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the create your first chat prompt so we can edit those settings. And then I'll click on the little eye icon next to the trash can icon. And then from there, click on edit. And here's where you get to all those settings. So um, you can change the text if you want. I think the text is fine though. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and I'll show you your different options. So um, you've got the option to have it display after a certain number of seconds. Um, I might recommend, you know, a minute. So I might type in just 60 seconds here. And so there, and there's a few other options here as well. So there's time on page is at least 60 seconds, or you could say time on site. So if someone comes to your homepage and then they go to your about page or your testimonials page, it starts clocking it from the time they get on your site and it keeps going no matter what page they're on. So that could be really powerful as well. Let's turn it on for time on site then is at least 60 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and switch that on. That's very important. So it has to be green in order for that to work. And your next option is not so much time-based, but how far someone has gone down the page. So you could say, you know, at least 50% of the way down the page, if they made it down that far, then you're gonna choose to, uh, to have that little, little thing pop up on them. I think this only works for uh, one page though. So the other one worked on, you know, if, no matter what pages they navigated to, after a minute, it would pop up. Uh, with this one, I think it's just, they have to get 50% down uh, and any given page they go to. So anyway, you could do that if you want, but I'm pretty happy with just the after 60 seconds one. I think that's great. Uh, based on the visitor's date or time, I don't really recommend this one. I don't see much of a benefit on that. Um, and then should the chat prompt appear during office hours? So basically what you can do is you can set this up to not be triggered uh, when you're not working which I would consider to be a best practice to turn it off when you're not working, because that way what's gonna happen is people will ask you questions, and if you're not there to answer those questions, uh, that can feel like a negative experience in the mind of your customer. So I would only put this on when you know you're able to actually get on there, get on your phone, and actually respond in real time. So go ahead and click on that. And then going down here, another few things we should talk about are visitors browsing specific pages. This is important if you don't want it to be shown site-wide. There's only certain pages you want it to show on. This one applies if someone's only been to a certain number of pages. Uh, not super important. I don't see a whole lot of benefit of that one. Uh, visitors on a specific device, so maybe you only want to show this to people on mobile or only on desktop for some reason. From a specific location, like maybe you're a local business and people, you might notice you get some bot traffic uh, from other countries that would not even be likely to be a customer because they're not even in your specific area. So you might turn it on for that reason, but, but anyway, I think we're good with these options. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Okay, so there you go. So basically from here then what I would recommend you do is download the iPhone or Android app for ConvertFox. That way how it's set up is whenever someone clicks on the little icon, asks you a question, your phone is going to ding and it's going to let you know you have someone on the hook and you can just go on there and answer their questions like you're texting a friend. It's really easy and a great way to overcome objections in real time and really get a whole lot more customers who would not necessarily be willing to talk to you otherwise. Okay, so I hope you can see how simple and effective this method is to getting more people into your sales funnel um, in an earlier stage of the game than you would normally be able to get them. But now it's time where I wanna hear from you and I wanna know if you have any questions or comments about any of this. I'm just a comment away, so I will read every single thing that comes through and I will answer every question that I possibly can. And if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, just click the little circle icon right down here to instantly subscribe. You're not gonna to wanna to miss any of our videos. And if you have not accessed our free mini course, How to Guarantee Website ROI, you can get that by clicking the box right over here. All right guys, Wes McDowell here for The Deep End and I'll see you next time.